Now we'll take a look at the kinds of voters that you will process throughout the day. There will be two types of voters who are processed at your table throughout the day. Regular voters are voters who ask to vote using a pre-printed ballot. These voters will arrive at your station with an authority to vote slip or ATV. Provisional voters are voters who the roster judges determine must cast their vote on a pre-printed paper ballot and complete a yellow provisional envelope. They will arrive at your station with a reason for provisional ballot or RFPB. The definition of these two types of voters is in the roster judge section of the manual and will be covered in more detail during in-person training. The PBJ section of the manual explains the reasons under Ohio law for issuing a provisional ballot. This too will be gone over in more detail at your in-person training and you will practice processing both these types of voters. You will know which type of voter you have by looking at the slip they are given by the roster judge and presented to you at your station. When the voters arrive at your station, you will greet them and ask them for the slip that they got from the roster table. Regular voters who choose to vote on a pre-printed paper ballot will give you an ATV slip. You will select their ballot based on the ATV information. ATV slips will go in an ATV envelope that you have at your table. After they complete their selection, you will direct them to deposit their ballot in the ballot counter. They will receive a voted sticker from the machine judges before they exit the voting location. Provisional voters, who will be your most common voter, will give you an RFPB slip. You will instruct them to complete a yellow provisional envelope. Then you will use the information provided by the voter on the envelope to process them. RFPB slips will be saved in a reason for provisional ballot slip envelope at your station. You and the paper ballot captain will make sure that the voter is given the correct ballot and that the provisional voters complete the provisional envelope correctly. This process will be covered in detail as you see the scenarios in this video and complete additional scenarios at your in-person training. After provisional voters mark their ballot, they will place the ballot inside the yellow provisional envelope, seal it, and insert the envelope into the voted bag. Each provisional voter completing a paper ballot at your station will receive two things from you when they're finished, a provisional ballot notice and a voted sticker. As you process voters, you will need to keep careful records of the number of ballots of each style you issue during the day. Samples of the forms you will use are included in your manual. Again, we will discuss this a little more in a few minutes, and you will practice this record-keeping process at your in-person training.